Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a short video to show how we do an arthrogram of the right shoulder prior to an MRI scan. And so this is an x-ray of the patient's shoulder, and this round thing here is the humeral head, and over the top we will see the rotator cuff, the supraspinatus component of the rotator cuff goes over the top, and there's another component in the front that comes horizontally like this and it attaches over here called the subscapularis. So we try to go through a little window that's below the supraspinatus up top and above the subscapularis here and about here is a better position, the dot's a little bit low. So we try to aim about here to a little window. And what we do is we take 40 cc's of saline, just water basically, and we inject into that two substances. One is Omnipake. We take about 10 cc's of 300 strength Omnipake, a CT contrast, and that will show up on the x-ray machine. We also add in about 0.25 cc's of Magnavist. It's an MRI contrast that shows up on the MRI machine. So our cocktail has saline mixed with Omnipake, shows up on x-ray, and Magnavist that shows up on the MRI. So three substances. And what we'll do is we will take a needle, put the needle in here, it's a 25 gauge needle, and we try to go mostly straight up and down. Sometimes we oblique it a little bit to get into the right spot. And this is a pretty good spot. Normally I like to aim a little bit more peripheral, but this is good enough. And we inject the contrast about 10 cc's into the shoulder joint. And when it's injected, we'll see the contrast down here or up into the joint. And sometimes we'll see the contrast around the tip. That means that we have not gone into the joint. We go straight down with the 25 gauge needle until we hit the bone. And then we know we're in the joint, but on occasion it'll pull out a little bit and we'll see contrast going horizontally into the subscapularis muscle. Sometimes I experience pain when we inject or we'll see contrast pull around the tip of the needle. But in this case, with the, there's no contrast around the tip. We see it far away going to the dependent portions of the joint or the low pressure areas. We know we're into the joint. Usually the contrast will flow in very easily and they experience no pain at all when we inject. So this is the contrast down here. And then we send them on to the MRI scan. So on the MRI scan, we'll see the contrast show up as white like this on a T1 weighted view. So we see the white contrast in the joint. We see this little triangle here, the superior labrum. We see that the contrast goes up into a vertical tear of that superior labrum. So this will highlight any labral tear, makes it easier to see, it accentuates it. Sometimes it can be a small labral tear, very hard to see, but with the contrast, it increases the sensitivity and specificity, and we can say with more confidence, yes, a labral tear. Also, the rotator cuff that goes around here, um, if there's a torn rotator cuff, a partial tear, or even a full thickness tear, we'll see the contrast that's white going up into the tear, if it's an undersurface tear, or if it's a full thickness tear, the contrast will extravasate out into the subacromial cell deltoid bursa. So this is again an MRI following arthrogram showing that contrast in the joint. And these are instructions for the arthrogram procedure. Thank you so much.